So if you have an Instapot, just start, start throwing stuff in there and see if it works. You're here with me because I just thought it was necessary. I don't know. I'm going to eat this, so let's just use our hands. That was the keep warm button. Don't push that button. Okay, the butter's coming back out again. Eventually, we're going to get this right. You have to bend it right away, and it... Uh, I don't like that. Where's my chicken? See, change of plans. It's a whole new recipe now. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's this time again. Instapot. Everybody loves the Instant Pot. And you know what? I need to quit saying Insta Pot. It's Instant Pot. Instant Pot. Today is chicken day. I was looking in my freezer thinking, what am I going to cook for dinner? Oh, how about chicken? Great idea, Michelle. Oh, how about make a video? Great idea, Michelle. So that's why we're here. You're here with me because I just thought it was necessary. I don't know. Look, did you see my shirt? Take me to the ocean. I like the ocean. I like the beach. Although the wind, my husband's home. My husband's home today. Well, anyway. The wind, you know, when you sit on the beach, it's breezy, it's windy. I wear earmuffs. I wear the winter earmuffs, you know, the ones that wrap around your head and do that because I get severe earaches from the wind. I do whenever it's windy, but at the, at the ocean, I'm the girl in the bathing suit and the earmuffs. You know, what can I say? So, today, we are doing chicken. Where's my chicken? Hold on. I forgot my chicken. I was so excited to Instant Pot, I forgot my chicken. Oh, go figure, go figure. Oh geez, now I need a spoon for the garlic. Hold on, I'll be right back. I need a spoon now. I'm back, got the spoon. Why do I need a spoon? Because we're gonna use this garlic, this, this minced garlic right here because this is the way Michelle buys garlic. Michelle doesn't cut garlic. It's easy. It's so much easier. This is just so much easier. Now, if you've watched my other videos, I still haven't read the book. Haven't done that. Nope. But we have these chicken breasts. Chicken breasts. Instant pot. Thumbnail. So, we're going to put the chicken in the instant pot. Just plop it in there. That's all you got to do. Here, I'll even move you a little bit so you can see. See, watch. It's really simple. Everybody needs an instant pot. See, watch. That's all you do. It's in there. See? Sunny side up. Sunny side up in the instant pot. Sunny. I see. I'm wanting to go to the ocean. Yesterday it was 90 degrees in Ohio. It would have been a beautiful day to go to the beach. Today it's 70. That's Ohio for you. Now we need to add liquid to this, so we're going to add this much liquid. Pay attention. Ooh, yeah. That might be like a cup and a half. Well, let's just make it a full two cups there. That might be two cups. Alright, we're going to add that. And then we're going to do the minced garlic. I, oh, that's a new one. I like garlic. So we're just going to just dump a little in here, add as much as you like. I'm a garlic girl. Garlic. We'll stir that around in a minute because as you can see, it plopped in the middle. Probably should have put the liquid in last, but that's okay. Italian seasoning. We have Italian seasoning here. So we're going to put some of this in there. That's probably a heaping tablespoon keeping. Now you know the girl likes musket powder. This is my fave. No, I'm not sponsored, but musket powder is good. If I can, I'll leave a link in my description to go buy the musket powder. I don't get paid. They're not sponsoring me. They don't even know I'm doing this, but I know this is good. They also have a red label one that um, I haven't tried yet, and it's a hotter one haven't tried that yet. I know this is good. Maybe, maybe when I order this one, I'll order the red one too when I get another one. So we're going to shake, shake musket powder in there. Because, trust me, it's good. I put this on everything. Just about everything. Alright, we're going to give this a little stir. Now that we have it in here, alright, because probably should have 
oh see, it can stir around. You can get it to stir. Look at there. This is going to be very good. Trust me. Do I know? No. Do I think it's going to be good? Probably. I mean, how can you go wrong with... Oh, look it. Did you see that? I went to stir that, and the whole pot's fun. All right, I guess we need two hands with this. But it's all stirred in here good. It's stirred tremendously good. Now, let me flip that one. Just give it a little flip. There we go. It smells delicious. Trust me, it smells delicious. Now, I think that I'm going to make baked potatoes with this in the microwave because that's easier. And I'm using my oven right now because I'm seasoning. I'm seasoning. I kept saying cleaning. I was trying to make a video about this. All right, but you'll see that one too. But every time I started the video, I said, hi, welcome back. Today we're cleaning the cast iron skillet. And my husband yelled from the other room, you're seasoning it. That's what I'm doing. I did that four times. I didn't just do it one time. I did it four times. I went in there and he's cracking up laughing at me like, you know what? You're a fool. Yep. Good job. Good job. Boy. Oh, I didn't show you. The next ingredient that we're going to put in there is butter. Now I have margarine, but I think it will work just as good. We're just going to pop that in there on top of the chicken breast. That's what, see, I have four, two chicken breasts. So I cut them, I'll show you. I'll show you in my pot. You can see in my pot in a minute. Okay, hold on, they're falling. Oh geez. Now, wait a minute, I got butter all over my, I don't wanna get it on my tripod, but I wanna show you. See, the butter's just there, and then it's gonna melt all over that chicken. I think that's gonna be good. Is this a healthy recipe? Probably not. Probably not, because we've got this collagen, Probably if you want it to be low sodium. They do have low sodium, but I didn't buy that. But other than that and the butter, I think I think we'll be okay. My chicken's a little bit frozen, so I'm gonna let it sit here. This is something that I got ready early in the day. I wonder if I could put potatoes in there. Okay, slight change of plans and my camera ran out of footage so guess what i had to go dump all of it on my computer so i could come back and finish this for you guys well it's really for my husband and i you won't be eating but we will so now listen while i was dumping footage i cut carrots and i ha i found i want potatoes and carrots i found these carrot bag of carrots in my fridge that needed used and these are red potatoes i like red potatoes and normally i like the skins on them more but i peeled them also because i wanted to feed them to my worms i yeah i have a worm farm yeah. it's a growing worm farm it's just starting out and i thought they would like my potato skins so i'm gonna just dump this like see plop ready ready watch thump dump that into there and stir it up again but but now remember we put that butter in there yeah, I'm gonna eat this so let's just use our hands I took the butter out because I want the butter on top of the chicken breast and I probably need a look at I'm trying to stir this with a little teaspoon it's not getting very far I might put my whole hand in there in a minute we'll see we will see oh come on there we go See, change of plans, it's a whole new recipe now. You're in my world, and things change. Sometimes things change that you can't control. And you know what, that, I just got that all over my neck. Oh, this smells really good. Now, I'm gonna add, oh, let me show you. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? If we had smell a vision you would like this so much better. So much better. I'm gonna add some more of this because I just think I need to. So we're going to do that right now. Probably. Okay, so all together, there's probably three cups of chicken broth in there. And I think that's probably enough. And then we're going to put the butter back on top of these chicken breasts. So they could just melt right in there. The flavor. You know what? I'm gonna cut this one with a knife. There's a skin on there. 
there's not a skin on the other one. Where'd my knife go? Hold on. Okay, the butter's coming back out again. Eventually, we're going to get this right, people. I promise. So I'm going to just, the skin, just kind of, oh, it's tearing. Well, it needs a little dissection there. But we'll just move the skin out of the way. This skin, see there's no skin on this one, see? Look, I just moved the skin out of the way, plop that butter on there, and we're gonna plop this butter on this side, and just let it ooze. While I'm here, I have a hashtag that you can join. You can do this too, I know you. Sorry. You can do this too, I know you can. Hashtag Let's Instant Pot. If you have an Instant Pot and make videos and recipes and want to show display one of your recipes two or three even however many you want tag them all let's instapot if you want i'll put them in a playlist and that playlist will if somebody clicks on it the playlist will be on my channel but if somebody clicks on your video you know through the playlist it'll take them to your channel and who knows Maybe we'll all be YouTube stars with our Instant Pots. See, I said it right, Instant Pot. So, hashtag Instant Pot. Join the fun. Join the fun. Join, just join the fun. I bet your husband would like it if you joined the fun because he would get dinner all the time. Not that he wouldn't already, but. So, we're going to put the lid on this. And, since, see, that's the problem I have. I can't ever get the dead on lid. Oh, see, we're gonna let it sit for like two hours. Now this is, the chicken breast is frozen kind of in the middle, so it'll be okay. Trust me, it will be okay. So I'm gonna let it sit for like two hours, and this is ready for dinner. So when I'm ready to cook dinner, I'll be back, we'll turn it on, and we'll see how we go. All right, so I am back, and I'm ready to start dinner. I'm starving. It's only like 3.44 in the afternoon, and I haven't had lunch and he hasn't had lunch either so we're gonna we're gonna start this let's take another look that means i gotta put the lid back on yay oh look the butter's oh that smells so good okay let's work we're gonna work with, work with me work with me yep all right we're gonna plug this thing in plug it in plug your machine in make sure it's plugged in in the back good give it a little push Mine came unplugged once and it was a problem. The machine is on. Okay, so here, you ready? We're going to push here. Pressure cook. And I'm going to do it for 15 minutes. Oh, not with that button. I'm not. Hold, oh, please. That was the keep warm button. Don't push that button. We're going to push this one. 15 minutes. And there we go. Pretty soon we're going to have chicken for dinner and I'm starving. Here, there it goes. Oh, here, wait, we gotta make sure that this is on seal. Oh, good thing I remember that. I've been here forever waiting for my chicken. All right, it's on seal and I'm gonna let it self-vent. This is gonna be a self-venting thing. Self-venting. I'll come back when the chicken's done. It sat here like 15 minutes and I just let it sit here and do its thing because the chicken was frozen, so, well, a little bit, not not a whole lot. I'm gonna unvent this now. Normally my husband does this, but he's sitting down because his back hurts and I don't want to bother him. Remember, hashtag let's instant pot before I do this. I hate doing this, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, ready? Mm, I don't like doing that. It's not so bad this time because it's been sitting there, but when you have to bend it right away, and it, uh, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. So it's venting. And we're going to let it vent for minutes until it's done. But hashtag let's instant pot. Anybody can make a video. Anybody. And it's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's cut into this and see. Look at that. It's beautiful. And I bet it tastes delicious too. I mean, it has to. Look at that. It's like falling apart. Look at. Wow. Carrots are carrot. Yep, carrots are done. Look at, oh, look at that. All right. Well, when this cools down, I will taste it. 
or I will go stick it in my husband's mouth. Too bad I cooked the daggone thing upside down though. Didn't know that. Go figure. Would uh, anything surprise you? Probably not. And not at this point. Smelling good. This is a really good smelling good thing, at least. I'm sure it's really hot. I'm going to stick this thing in my mouth and probably get burned. So if you have an Instapot, just start, start throwing stuff in there and see if it works. I mean, hey. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is extremely moist. Extreme. There's. It, it, this is really good. Tastes good. This is a winner. Chicken breasts with potatoes and carrots and other stuff dumped in. Try it. All right, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and come back for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.